is grammarly free? Is grammarly 100% correct? Is grammarly worth buying? Can grammarly be trusted? These are some of the most asked questions when checking for grammarly. Dive into this video for answers to those questions plus others like uh, is gra grammarly premium versus uh, grammarly free which is better? Is grammarly premium checker accurate? How do I log in and use Grammarly and so forth? Welcome. Firstly, we'll search for Grammarly.com. Then we'll click on login. Next is to add the email, your email address, then we click continue, then we add the password, then we click sign in. two methods of using Grammarly. The first method is to upload your documents. So you'll come and click on the upload document. Then you come and select the document you want to upload. Let's say this one and you click on open. Then you can just start editing your work and inserting the necessary. You just click the recommendations as requested most of these recommendations are all right apart from a few like the synonyms usually not all the synonym synonyms are correct so you want to check your synonyms before replacing a word in your article like this is not a correct suggestion so you just want to continue looking at the suggestions and accepting or rejecting them as you move on. Yeah, that is one method to upload your work. Another method is to go to your article, whether it's a Google document, whether it's an email, whether it's a what documents and so forth and select everything you can just click ctrl a instead of dragging your cursor ctrl plus a then you select you you copy you click copy then you come you click on new then you come and paste your work Then you can proceed to edit the article. You remember uh, when writing the recipe, you want to ensure that it's a summarized uh, article, so you don't need to include things like uh, of salt. You can ignore this. You can just have half a tablespoon salt, half a tablespoon cumin, half a tablespoon turmeric, half a tablespoon curry and so forth then you can you can just continue editing and ensuring that you polish up everything and get the score to your score here should be at least 99 if you for instance if you want to reject just continue rejecting if you think a suggestion is irrelevant continue rejecting and accepting all those that make sense and ensure that your score gets to 99 while here you can also check your readability click on the score here you can see your readability a readability of 78 that is very good you want to ensure that your readability is at least 60 when working with grammarly and if your readability is below 60 unless that is a technical document if it's not a technical document and you want to reach to 
much a younger audience a younger audience then you want to go for tools like Hemingway that can help you even out the very hard sentences the hard sentences and the tough phrases while also removing passive voices and uh, adverbs in your article so that you get your so that you improve the readability of your work you can also see the approximate word length the sentence length yes so that is what grammarly offers in grammarly premium you also get the plagiarism button so just click here and check whether your article has uh, plagiarism you see it has no plagiarism so you can move on when it comes to the comparison between the free version and the premium version there is a distinct difference and the premium grammarly is definitely more beneficial than the free version we also have the business version which is a more advanced version of grammarly perfect for teams so the differences as you can see are clear with the free version you only get things like spelling grammar and punctuation besides that premium grammarly also offers clarity focused sentence rewrites tone adjustment plagiarism detection word choice formality level fluency and additional advanced suggestions with the business version you also get the style guide the admin panel the centralized billing the priority email support and the saml single sign on besides the offerings on the premium grammar when it comes to pricing you can see the different prices that you pay based on the option you choose an individual pays around $30 per month for a, for three months for every three months you'll pay around $20 per month so that is around $60 for the entire plan then annually you'll pay around $12 per month so that translates to approximately $100 40 dollars somewhere around there per, per annum grammarly prim, grammarly business you'll pay 12.5 dollars per month a build annually so you can multiply that by 12 months and guess the figure that you'll be paying based on the number of members that you have while it grammarly offers excellent insights into the readability score i've discovered that sometimes you might uh, still accept all the grammarly suggestions and your work still doesn't have that readability of 60. so you may want to use other tools like hemingway editor which provides you with the, a more a better a better option for checking which sentences are very hard which sentences are hard which sentences need which phrases need simpler alternatives passive voices and adverbs once you remove this you can really get your readability to a good level if you want to know more about Hemingway editor check the description below for a link on how to use Hemingway editor as for whether the grammarly plagiarism checker is effective I don't think so because you can look at this text I got it from Hemingway app and I just made a few changes to the article and you can see that it shows that my text is a hundred percent original when I go to a free plagiarism checker like onetext.com you see that my plagiarism is 8.59 percent however when I go to a dedicated plagiarism check, plagiarism is at 85%. So, do I think the plagiarism checker is effective? Absolutely not. If you want to check for plagiarism, don't use the Grammarly plagiarism checker. Please go for a dedicated plagiarism checker like Tanitin or Kobiski.